Hello everyone, welcome to Wayne's Retro Desk. Today we're going to be unboxing the HP 660LX uh, Palm Top PC from 1998. Um, this was uh, HP's top of the line uh, Palm Top for that year. Uh, I snagged this piece off eBay, complete in the box with all the accessories, manuals, and other materials. Uh, the 660LX is a Windows CE 2.0 device um, that contained a whopping 32 megs of RAM, 16 megs of ROM, a 75 megahertz Super H processor, and a half-height uh, VGA touchscreen display color at 640 by 240 resolution. It was priced at $999 US in 1998, uh, adjusting for inflation, that would be over $1,800 today. Um, so let's see what we have inside here. Um, we start out with this nice uh, information sheet of all the features of the 660LX. Um, it has a uh, Type 2 PC card slot, uh, stylus, um, compact flash, uh, a IR port, um, and you know there's the display. This actually is a little poster which gives you some setup information on this side and um, the software installation instructions on the other side. All right. So before we get to the main event. Let's just see what else we have in here. Um, comes with the uh, Palm Top User's Guide. It's just sort of your basic how to get started with Windows CE kind of material. Um, and, uh, and then we have this uh, Solutions and Resource Guide. So this is all the little uh, hardware and software accessories that you could uh, get for this device. Um, and of course, this is the uh, instructions for the Windows CE services that you install on your uh, PC to get connected to the Palm Top. Um, this particular model came with a fax data modem card with cable and instruction manual. Now, the one thing that I did not get in this listing is the dongle for the uh, for the modem, but I did get the modem. So here we have a Action Tech Datalink 56K uh, fax modem. Um, I just do not have the dongle for it. Um, and uh, oh, Sprynet, 30 day free trial. Very nice. Um, oh, IntelliSync, interesting. And just instructions on how to use the card. Not that. Oh, all right. What do we got here? I will uh, cover that. Oh. Certificate of Authenticity for Windows CE Services 2.1. Uh, our warranty card information. All right. Expensable. Uh, expense report software. This would have been pretty important for this device. It is clearly meant for business professionals to uh, use on the go. Um, worldwide support phone numbers. Probably y'all don't work anymore. Uh, and then the software that it comes with. So we have uh, Microsoft Outlook 98. Very nice. Um, some HP uh, Utility CD-ROM for the PIM software, I think. And lastly, the Windows CE Services 2.1. Now, we won't actually be using this CD. Uh, this uh, Palm Top supports ActiveSync, which came out long after this. Um, although even that is obsolete now. Uh, it requires a Windows XP machine to run ActiveSync version 3.8, which is what this Palm Top supports. 
All right, what else do we have in here? Okay, so um, let's, before we get to the main event again, let's see what else we have. We've got the uh, AC adapter. Very nice. Um, we have the absolutely necessary serial cable, proprietary port on one side and RS-232 on the other. This is how you get this palm top connected to a computer. Um, this is before any of the USB models that came out afterwards. Um, this device also has a dock. So you would put this on your desk and you can plug in the power and the serial cable. And then this is a dock and it just palm top just sits on there and, um, you know, that's how you get it all connected up. It even has a little holder for the stylus. All right, so for the main event here, let's take a look. This is our HP 660LX in its original uh, anti-static bag here. So let's take a look. Now I will go into more detail later, but uh, this is what it looks like right out of the package. Um, and uh, I'll just quickly open it up, but we'll turn it on later and take a look at all the software and everything in there. So not too bad. Nice full-size keyboard, nice screen. The stylus has a very nice, you know, forceful eject. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, some features of the device really quickly here. Um, it has a... Uh, compact flash slot it's the the uh the ac in um the stylus and the serial port uh on the other side a full size pcmcia slot uh on the bottom your backup battery um and your main battery which is a you know uh rechargeable battery pack um these can be reconditioned if um it doesn't work in this case, we actually do, I do get a few hours of, of charge out of this. Um, and then there's some pins on the bottom which actually connect to that dock. So here we are again with the HP 660LX. As you can see, it's a pretty nice device, got some pretty nice uh, styling there. It is a dark green color, which was unique to this model. Um, as you can see, it is a pretty chunky. This is a very, very, very thick boy, um, very heavy. Um, you definitely couldn't just sort of throw this into your pocket. You're going to need a little handbag or a purse or something to hold on to it. Um, quite a bit larger than uh, other palm tops of this era. Um, so let's just uh, open it up and take a look. So here we go. No fire on that display. Now, you're going to see a little bit of a flicker on camera. Uh, that's only on camera. But the rest of the quality of the display, um, this is actually pretty conducive to sort of what it um, actually looks like in person. So it's not sort of the greatest display. The colors are a little washed out. Um, it, uh, I, you can dial in the contrast and the brightness. And um, this is pretty much as, as good as I can get it. So this is Windows CE 2.0. Um, as you can see, it looks a lot like Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows 2000. You've got your start menu with, uh, you know, all your sort of standard uh, menu options that you would see in those devices. Um, you know, you get your settings, your control panel, um, your most recent documents, your favorites, and then under programs, you know, we have accessories calculator we have that uh, expensable uh quick and expensable that we saw uh in the unboxing the little sheet there um for communications um we have uh you know active sync um we have remote networking and terminal um so again this was meant to be a, a communications device um you're meant to use that modem to connect to services and you know browse the web and get your email and and all that kind of stuff. In games, of course, we have to have uh, solitaire, um, you know, just like the uh, uh, Windows version. Ooh, it's very loud. All right, and then uh, Office. So we have Excel, a PowerPoint viewer, and Word. 
um, and then Pocket Outlook, um, and, you know, Calendar, Contacts, Inbox, and Tasks. So again, this device would be used by business professionals to check their email and work on their documents and, uh, and, and just browse the internet a little bit. Um, I can even open, you know, Pocket Internet Explorer. I don't have any uh, internet available here, but it does have a little homepage that it, it can launch. And that actually came up pretty fast, but as you kind of move around apps, the performance does vary quite a bit. Um, I mean, as you can see, if I close the app, you can kind of watch the desktop redraw. Um, I would think for a device that costs $999 in uh, 1998, that the actual performance of the device would be better. You really do get that sense of everything kind of redrawing as, as you use it. Um, you can open Microsoft Word, um, and uh, you know, depending on when I open it, it's it's fast to open or not. In this case, it was it was about average time. Uh, sometimes it seems like it's slower. Sometimes it opens faster. Uh, we can use that keyboard to type. Um, the keyboard isn't too bad. Um, obviously, it's this sort of small key uh, chiclet style. The next version of this device, or the Jornadas, uh, have a more kind of laptop style keyboard. Um, this is sort of the little chiclet style keyboard. Um, it, it's actually not, not too bad to type on. It has, um, you know, all the keys and they're in the right places and they're not actually that bad of a size. We can, you know, navigate with the keyboard quite nicely. Um, we can say, well, we can save that. All right. So that's, you know, actually pretty much all of the stock apps on there. Um, you can use this to, um, you know, browse the web. Uh, at the, in that in that era, uh, it actually these days, uh, Pocket Internet Explorer isn't good enough to browse uh, any web pages. Um, it, they all require you know SSL uh, certificates that this thing doesn't support. So um, at best, um, you know you can kind of go to old old websites. Now, um, one of the reasons I actually uh, wanted this device is I had an HP 320LX uh, in this era, uh, the late. 90s, uh, early 2000s. Um, it was a Windows CE 1 device with uh, the same resolution display, but it was four shades of gray. Um, and I used it in university to take notes, um, but I also used it to connect to my mobile phone with the serial cable and and have mobile internet. So back in that era, I was using, you know, uh, you know, Pocket Internet Explorer to browse the web, uh, mobile, and I had uh, ICQ messaging uh, in, you know, 1999, 2000. Um, so it's kind of a, a neat thing. Um, I don't know if I would actually recommend this device. Um, there isn't actually that much software available for Windows CE 2.0. Um, and this was sort of before the processors were standardized on ARM processors. Uh, in here is a uh, SH3, uh, Super H3 processor. Um, and uh, there's actually still not that many third-party applications for this that are all that interesting. There's not that many games. Um, you would think, actually, with something that is, you know, this expensive and this top of the line, that it would actually be more powerful. Um, it has that 32 megs of RAM, which is twice as much RAM as the HP 620LX, the previous model. Um, I don't really know what it needs all that RAM for. Um, the RAM is split between um, the um, storage and program memory. And you can adjust that with a, with a slider. So if we go into the system properties, we can go to memory and we can actually adjust the slider and say, well, I want more storage, I want more disk space, or I want more program memory. I just don't know uh, why uh, this device actually needs that much program memory. I, there doesn't seem to be um, a whole lot you can do with it. Um, so I don't know if I would recommend this device if you're looking for uh, sort of a retro uh, you know device I actually just think it's it, it's very cool and, and very and very stylish um, but but not very practical um, the last thing I'm going to show is the dock which I have over here so what we can do is I'm just going to turn this off and uh, close it up and I'll show you the dock so the dock's pretty straightforward it has the, the power cable and the um, serial cable plugged into the back, which you can also plug directly into the device. Um, and you just sort of push it on here and, uh, and snap it down. Um, let me see if I can uh, get that snapped on. It's uh, suddenly giving me some trouble. All right, there we go. 
So it is all snapped in there now. And there's even a little holder for the stylus when you're using it. Um, and you can see that the uh, charge light is on as we are plugged in and charged. And it's actually affixed to the dock. Um, you actually have to eject it by pressing down here where it just sort of pops off and then you can take it off. So that is the dock. Uh, and this is the HP 660LX.